important. We just so that, said that word pants and asking the per person for a ride is just one you do not want to put together. Shift. Oh my god. Fanny. Chai is a lot. Bro, where you get them pants from? Oh, he gonna think I'm trying to. It's not Don't gonna add up. It's not. So what are pants called? They they just say trousers. Oh, what are the the, the what the heck? Underwear, undergarments. You can't even say that because we're not even talking about underwear. We're talking about the Wait pants. Minute. At this point, I can't say what's good because what's <laughs> and good is gonna be so totally different. <laughs> What's good, y'all? It's the Duma Shots React, and we're back, back with another video. video. Who we got today, see? Today, we're back with another American reaction. Super excited about this video. If you're new to us and, and we're new, new to you, you, make sure you scroll down, hit, hit that, that subscribe, subscribe button, button, and turn on the post notification bell because we're, we're on the road to 200k. And we cannot get there without you guys, all right? Join the family. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Let's get it. Here we go. Number 10 Anything in opposition to a taxi driver. <laughs> taxi drivers in Ireland are notorious for wanting to get into political debates uh -oh. or debates about pretty much anything. If a taxi driver in Ireland says to you that the sky smells like lemonade, you should agree with him because if you don't, you will never hear the end of it. Honestly, taxi drivers in Ireland love to have a good debate about Time something. Today. It's all in oh, good yeah. nature, so if that's your jam, Go for it, get into it. But I would advise you not to because the taxi driver will win. He is highly skilled and practiced at having debates, almost on a level I'll, of I'll a this. political <laughs> democratic person. A what? What? You know, a uh, law person. What are they called? The government. Like a government person. Official. What I'm trying to say is they're very good at arguing, even about the simplest things. So if your taxi driver tells you something, I suggest you just agree, even if he's totally wrong. Unless you do really want to get into it with him or her. Next up, it's top of the morning. There's only one person I know who can say top of the morning without getting their head bashed in, and that's Sean McLaughlin. <laughs> Top of the morning chill ladies, my name is Jack Septicai. Sean <laughs> has made a practice of saying top of the morning with great cynicism and people have taken it to their hearts and they love him for it. But if you say top of the morning, there's a good chance people are going to look at you like this. <laughs> okay. It may indeed be top of the morning, thereby the beginning of the day, but nobody says it in Ireland unless it's a catchphrase or they're saying it in a jokey way. Even if it's in a jokey way, I've never heard it. Top of the morning. Only like, on a radio show. Maybe on a radio show, but uh, like just a normal day, just going about different restaurants, different places. Yeah. I don't hear top of the morning. Top of the morning. As a good morning in our you know mm -hmm. space. It, it reminds me of the news section of uh, the radio. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Pretty much. Mm. Yeah. I can say it in a jokey way, but we're probably just gonna go. <laughs> That's not your fault. When I go to Texas, if I go around saying in seriousness, how do y'all, people are going to be like, oh, bless. No, don't do that. Because they know it's not a natural thing that's coming out of my mouth. I guarantee you when she gets to Texas, she's going to be howdying all the live long day. Oh, in wow. the same way that you would appreciate me saying it, you get that it just doesn't, it doesn't fit, you know? Next up, it's a real easy one. It's St. Patty's Day. Okay, people have gotten into debates with others in the comments about this one because they don't understand. Patrick is the full word. Pat is a shortening of Patrick okay. and Paddy is a shortening of Patrick. Patty. But Patty is not. Ah. The only people who say Patty are American people. And no. I don't know what it is about the particular phrase, Happy St. Patty's Day. That These must be the experts. I say St. Patrick's. I, I say the full thing. I don't give it a nickname. Mm -hmm. no. I just put on a whole bunch of green. <laughs> yeah, I just That's... don't. I don't say it. Um, even with like Christmas, I don't like when people nickname Christmas. It's Christmas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not yeah. Xmas. Christmas. Happy Xmas. Oh, that's the lazy yeah, so, typers. Yeah. <laughs> so Heard I don't. Mm. I've never called a day. What, 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 what are you saying that at in America's that? What are you saying that? Yeah, that? that's all we be telling y'all. Stop saying America's this, America's that. Exclude Dion and Sierra. Yeah. The whole Dimma shit family. Out. Yeah, there you okay? go. Okay. Really grinds the gears of an Irish person, but it does. So 
If you're looking to rile people up, go for it. Say happy St. Patty's Day, you're wrong. The next one seems to be a source of much interest for you guys. It's the word fanny. Like our little fanny So facts. in America, and also Canada, I believe, you guys say fanny for bottom. And oh. that's fine, you have your fanny packs going around shaking your little fanny. But in Ireland, fanny means lady bitch. How many years so, ago was that? Because I think they were saying fanny at one point. But that's like... When the, the old, like, old days, like... Like when the Tootsie Roll was coming out. Yeah. Probably around them times. Yeah, probably. Because we don't even say... We say fanny pack as in the bag. Yeah, we took that word and we used it for something different. Yeah, fanny pack. Yeah. I've never heard someone call... A bottom of fanny. No. Hmm? It's, it's your butt. <laughs> Chilling with your homies. <laughs> Boy, they got a fanny on her. Nah, I never, no. nah, I never, <laughs> you never came out. <laughs> never, yeah, I never don't heard know it. about that one. It just, it just doesn't work here. We're aware that you're saying it meaning a different thing, but it will cause us all to go. Maturity level low. Okay. The next one is one that's quite serious, and I wasn't going to put it in because I do try and stay away from political things, but I also like to give you guys... A little bit of knowledge about real things that are happening so don't go into an Irish pub and order a car bomb okay. I can only liken it to going into a pub in New York <coughs> and ordering a drink called the 9-11 car oh, bombs snap. are a very real very serious okay so why is it isn't on that, the menu isn't that something they should talk to the owner about yeah, because, okay, so if we were visiting Ireland for the first time mm -hmm. and we see a drink called that mm -hmm. and it has, like, the ingredients that we like written underneath it in the description. Exactly. And we say it, we'll be in a wrong, but it's on the on the menu? Yeah, 100%. It's a so, set up for failure. Yeah, because I've... I have never even seen anything called... named after, you know, the terrorist attack here. I don't think a, a sane person would... Call like no, nah. like you gotta whisper it to the bartender. So let me get that one right there. Why is, is isn't that rude though? Like you just set yourself up for failure. I okay, mean, especially tourists who don't, don't know. know. Like so, you get scorned at for saying it, and you get side eye for saying it. All along, it's supposed to be something that is bought in that restaurant. Right. So that's making me think differently of going new places and saying the name of something that's named after something. But how would you know if his name after point. something? You know I'm what I'm saying? Point. You know, like... Point. I want to know more it. about that. I want to know more about, yeah. like, what's the real way of handling that situation? I need right, to see what y'all say. thing that happened yeah. in sense. Ireland, and are ongoingly a very sensitive thing. Most Irish people aren't likely to get overtly triggered if they hear you saying it. But at best, people are going to think you're kind of ignorant for ordering one. And at worst, you're going to actually offend or hurt somebody by doing so. So I just suggest you stay away from ordering the car bombs and stay away from ordering anything called a black and tan too while you're at it. I suggest instead you order a Jaeger bomb, which is great crack. And that brings me on to my next word. Don't say crack. If you mean the drug. Sears and Quanners. Hey, we need you on the comment section about that last one. Number six. Yeah, we need to know like how you supposed to go it about it. Why is on the menu? That's what's puzzling. It's like me. if you know it's a trigger, why have it there? Or just rename it something else that would be more appetizing, as, you know, yeah. to the people instead of something that's sensitive that happened in history. All right. Oh Lord Jesus. Or well, in Ireland, crack, crack. Oh, it's like I'm on the Disney Channel. <laughs> crack means <laughs> fun. Funny. I'm having very crack. We had crack for the night. It was a good night out. There was lots of crack. Now, as I understand it, in the America, you guys have a drug called crack. I think not we call we it something else here. I'm not big up on my drugs. So, I don't know. I don't think we call it crack, though, here. I'm not a drug connoisseur. I don't know. Crack means fun. Now, there may come a time in the evening when you're a few pints in where crack comes organically out of your mouth. I am so pissed. I am having so much crack. That works. If it just happens, let it happen. But don't pretend to put the word in a sentence when you're just forcing it. Oh my goodness, I am having the crack today. No, we don't believe you. You've got to be... I don't know about that one. <laughs> What Americans y'all be talking to? Because this is... Oh, snap. 
Oh, snap. I don't think anybody in the Dumanshack family used that word. Uh, anybody that the Dumanshack family know. I don't think we never slipped that word now. Like, if we know what the word means, I, what it means here is what it means here. I don't... Right. I mean... I've never heard that word being used for it. Like, you step uh, on a crack, you, you know, the little yeah, kitty part yeah, of it. Yeah, break your mama back. back that, yeah, there you go. That, mm -hmm. but... That's really the only time. I don't know. Okay, okay. Where y'all be... <laughs> Oh, I am not endorsing drinking a high volume of alcohol, but I will say it is a big part of having the crack. Yeah! Next up, it's the word know, shift what the, what or is. right when said in their original meanings. So in Ireland, a shift is having a kiss and a right okay. is having something a little bit more than a kiss. Well, a lot more than a kiss. Oh. Oh my. The number three thing not to oh, say oh, when you get to Ireland. Oh, 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 if I'm looking for a taxi, the one who's political, but I need to ask a person for a ride, I'm not going to win this conversation. Nope, because we're going to be fighting. Better yet, I just left the brewery <laughs> and we just got cracked. You see, it's not... We're just not going to use no slang terms And at then all. I had to say that my fanny was uh, was unzipped. What? Child, too much to I'm, remember. <laughs> I'm not going to make it. I'm going to just keep it very simple and say good day. I need you to take... My family in the car, drive instead of ride. Drive. It's drive something. I don't know, but once you're in the car, <laughs> that, that driver is going to be the one who's going to make something out of something. Well, nothing drive out of something. Drive us to the hotel. Drive, you know, in the car. Start the car. Oh, I can't ask for a simple What if you're riding ride? with somebody and you be like, what's that, a stick or a shift? That sounds very and bad now. And then they now. just go into it. <laughs> oh, that they sound lean in. bad. <laughs> oh, LG. All right, number number That's three. That's you gonna yep. sit in the front, not me. What? <laughs> Be quiet in the front. Just play the music. Let's hear some tunes. I'm Irish. And the reason for this is not perhaps the reason that you think. The population of Ireland is very, very small. But somehow, we've managed to spread our seed across the whole entire world. Everybody's Irish. Seriously, there are so many Irish people internationally, it's not even true. It is true. It's just not even funny. Words. If you come over to Ireland and you make a mate, do tell them about your Irish origins, but don't tell every single person you meet on the street about them, because we're gonna- Barack Obama. But do he say that? Well, no one knew until- I think he said it before, but I didn't, I didn't know. I remember when his first, um, the first election that he won, they were digging all in his background. and Yeah, shot. boy, they just all up in his business. Yeah. And they pulled it out the vault. They said, you got Irish and you got family up there. You need to go visit, my man. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sure enough. Now they got a whole stop for uh, him. I assume you're Irish. Everybody's wife. Irish. That's what I'm saying. It actually is quite shocking, but we're everywhere. Moving on to number two, or is it number eight? I don't know anymore. Your number bleh, word not to say in Ireland if you are an American is the word pants, or as you like to say, pants. In Ireland, mm. your pants are your tidy whities your unmentionables, your lingerie, your lady garments, your boxer briefs, your tidy whities whatever your preferred name for underclothing is in your downstairs area. I understand in America, pants are trousers, and in so, Ireland, we just so that, say... that word, pants, and asking a, per a person for a ride, is just one you do not want to put together. Shift. Oh, my God. Fanny. Child, it's a lot. Bro, where you get them pants from? Oh, he gonna think I'm trying to... It's not Don't gonna add up. It's not... So, what are pants called? They, they just say trousers. Oh, what are the... The, the, what the heck? Underwear? Undergarments? You can't even say that because we're not even talking about underwear. We're talking about the pants. Wait, at this point, I can't say what's good because what's <laughs> and good is going to be so totally different. I got to figure this out because uh, if it's not called pants to y'all, well, if it's called pants to, to us, us, what is our pants called to you? Trousers. 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 Got to be trousers. Yes. Slacks. Yeah. Long ones. Yeah. Ankle covers. Again, somewhere. <laughs> no, we're not. No, okay. <laughs> Trousers. It's complicated. And in America, what we call pants, you call panties, or all the other things I just uh -oh. said. 
Anyway, it depends on the conversation you're having, but it could lead to some small confusion. So I would just suggest you avoid the word altogether. Don't say pants or panties when you're in Ireland. And finally, the last word you should avoid saying if you are an American visiting Ireland is the word <laughs> Now, feck is not a severe word. It's quite a light word. It isn't as big as the yes. F bomb. It's a light oh. casual word that people in Ireland throw into sentences occasionally. I would say occasionally. I don't know many people who use it liberally. Perhaps in other parts of Ireland they say it more than we would in Dublin. But what I'm saying is if we hear you starting to say feck and you've been here on holiday for less than a week we're gonna assume you're just you're just trying a little too hard. Now there's nothing wrong with trying big claps for trying <laughs> but you should know it makes you look more like a tourist howdy y'all do you know what <laughs> now that i'm thinking about it i actually love when people say feck in another accent so basically ignore everything i just said and do whatever you like when you get here you're most welcome and we'll all have the crack i am always open to hearing your video suggestions all right y'all make sure y'all show her channel some love go check her out um very interesting, a lot of culture shocks there. I don't think yeah. we can get all the way um, into the slang talk with you guys right. without messing it up. <clears throat> We're going to say something wrong. A hundred percent. I'm trying to, I'm trying to trade lightly right now. <laughs> Cause, uh, yeah, that was a lot. Uh, just a lot of confusion with the things we say. Hmm. Huh. Right. Did so, you, did you, did you, did you understand number one? F. The fag word. You. That's it. Oh. Oh, snap. I just said it, too. You didn't say it. I d you wasn't listening? I just said it. You didn't curse. I didn't say that word, but I said they were. Yeah. The word yeah, that they yeah. said were. She said it differently. Yeah. I said it how she just yeah, said it. Yeah, you said it, babe. But I didn't say it, said it. Right. Y'all complicated. I thought we was complicated. Y'all are complicated. Hey, if y'all want us to go a little deeper on this, please send me more videos because I think this is truly, truly interesting. We heard a lot of slangs in other locations, but y'all took the oh, y'all took, took the cake with this one took because the cake. can these we words even say can't... took the cake? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, Lord is running with his pants. Yeah, and he took the cake. Mm -mm -mm. I don't know what we're saying no more. I don't know what it is. We hope you guys enjoyed this video with us. Like this video, subscribe, turn on the post notification bell. We have enabled our super, super thanks. thanks if you like support the channel that way, as well as our reaction request form is in our description, description box, box below. below. We'll see you soon. Peace. Peace.